Communication is the key. Remember you have two ears and one mouth. Listen first before you speak. Other people will feel respected by that and you will be wiser for having listened to their input. Listen again. I've found that it's very helpful to empower a number of people, almost like birds in your shoulder, to tap and tell you, are you sure you want to do that if they think you might be heading the wrong direction? So always listen to those that might have something to say to have you rethink the direction you're going in. Develop a collective vision and plan together for best success. Remember that people will work far better for you and with you if they're part of the planning process and part of the idea generation. Just telling them what you want them to do will only get you so far. A team that plans together and works together can run a long way together. Recognize, reward, and build on success. Remember, positive comments will help the team function way better than continual negative criticisms. Remember to give responsibility to those who complain. As awkward as that sounds, it is important to let everyone know that they need to be part of the solution, not just problem identification. But give even more responsibility to those that are helpful because they're the ones you can count on when the going gets rough and difficult times and not just when it's easy sailing. They're the ones that will pull your team together and make sure that the objectives are actually made and you can count on them and they can count on you. Beware facts and principles. You will encounter, as I have, at nine in the morning, a group coming in and basing their argument on a set of facts or a series of principles. And then at 10 in the morning, a different group comes in with a different set of facts and a different set of principles. So much good in the world has been accomplished based on principles, but also evil has been accomplished and done based on principles with which we don't agree. In problem resolution, it is so important that we use agreed facts and shared principles as a basis to move forward. In trauma care, we say don't let perfection get in the way of good or the patient might actually die. In problem resolution, in complex and difficult issues, it's also important to not let the quest for the perfect result or greedy self-interest or rigid positions get in the way of a good resolution of a difficult problem. How many times have we seen those things result in a less than optimal solution? And talking about optimal solutions, going way back to the book Getting to Yes, written in the 1980s, it's so important that we listen and understand the other person's perspective so that we can reach a better solution for all. Compromise or cutting things in the middle is not always the best solution. And if we understand the other side, we can get a better solution that works for all concerned. Don't accept inappropriate behavior, especially when it's hurtful to others. Remember that so many people carry such burdens of illness and stress, and we are so fortunate in our daily lives and what we have in what we do in our work and life. Share the responsibility with your team. You can get so much done when you don't have to take the credit. But remember as leader that you need to take the blame when things don't work out well. The world and our teams are searching for authenticity. As a face of the organization, it is particularly important that you are an authentic leader and that you believe and act yourself in the very best possible way. As Mahatma Gandhi said so famously, be the change you would like to see in others. Thank you.